Google just dropped a new free feature that claims to turn almost anything into a compelling video in minutes. Headlines are buzzing about Notebook LM's video overview. The promise is huge, turning almost any kind of information, and for any kind they include, files in PDF, TXT, docs and audio, as well as web links and even YouTube videos, into engaging narrated videos automatically. Okay, I was pretty skeptical, but the idea of doing a video with a single click, it could be a complete game changer and opens many new user cases like product presentations, marketing plans, courses and onboarding videos, social media posts, educational videos, you name it. So is this the tool that finally changes the game for video creation? Or is it just another wave of AI hype? Let's dig in and find out. First things first, for those who are new to Notebook LM, it's a free Google app known as an AI tool that turns content into an audio podcast. It's right, an AI-generated podcast with two presenters. The generated podcast is completely grounded in your content, and you can even ask questions to the presenters. The breakout feature has been these podcast-style conversations. But now, with this new video overview feature, Google claims it can create engaging video presentations in one click. In this video, we're going to put these claims to the test. I'll walk you through exactly how to use it, step by step, and then we'll deliver a final verdict. Now, the fun part, testing the video overview feature. We'll start from the Notebook LM webpage, but if you have never used it, it's a free Google app and you can access it by searching for Notebook LM or find it on the Google Apps menu. I chose to create an overview of something I like, American muscle cars, but you can use it for anything you can imagine. Let's start. First, we click on Create New to create a new project. It opens a tab where you can upload the source's information. The documents format accepted are PDF, TXT, Markdown, Google Docs, and audio files. You also have the options to add web links, YouTube videos URLs, or upload files from your Google Drive. For the free plan, we have a limit of 50 sources we can use for each project. For me, it's more than enough. I'll use a mix of sources so you can see how it works. I'll upload two PDFs, the URL of the Wikipedia muscle car, and a YouTube video URL about the Pontiac GTO. Once your sources are loaded, you'll notice this redesigned studio panel on the top right. It's got these clean new tiles for creating different things like audio overviews, mind maps, and the one we're here for, video overviews. And this is where it gets crazy simple. All you have to do is click Video Overview. That's it. The AI then gets to work analyzing your documents. It identifies what it thinks is the most important information, pulls out key data directly from your sources, and writes a full script to go with it. A process that used to be complex is now literally one click. Now, Google claims it's fast, and in my test, it took about 10 minutes to generate the overview. Not bad if you think the full process of analyze the sources, generate the outline, narrative, voiceover, the images, and put all it together. All right, it's done. Let's open and see how it stacks up. As you can see, this isn't just a basic slideshow. It's a fully narrated presentation. The AI did an excellent job pulling out the key information and presenting it chronologically, building a structured narrative video. The AI voice is clear. I'll play the audio a bit. So what exactly is a muscle car anyway? Well, the formula was just brilliantly simple. You take a plain mid-sized family car, you know, the kind of thing your parents would drive, and you give it a heart transplant. You cram the absolute biggest, loudest, most powerful V8 engine you can possibly find right into it. And the goal? It was to create a rocket ship for the masses. I found it to be surprisingly natural, though your mileage may vary on that. It even created a chart to visually explain the data. This is what makes it so powerful. It turns passive reading into a much more active, engaging experience, especially for visual learners or anyone who needs to get the key points of a dense information fast. By the way, if you're finding this tutorial useful, hitting that subscribe button really helps support the channel and ensures you don't miss out on future guides. But what if you need a video for a different audience? This is where the real magic happens. Back in that studio panel, next to Video Overview, you can click the Options and the Customization tab will open. Here, you get a bunch of options. You can choose between two formats, 
Brief for a quick summary, or Explainer for a more detailed, structured video. You can also pick from six different visual styles powered by Google's Nano Banana image model. Watercolor, papercraft, anime, whiteboard, retro print, and heritage. Let's try it. I'll type in a prompt. Create a fun video summary of American Muscle Cars Golden Era for teenagers. I'll select the anime style and generate another one. This is huge. It lets you create multiple hyper-targeted videos from the same document each tailored for a different target or purpose. After some minutes, the video overview is ready. The result looks great to me. Look at those images. The possibilities here are endless. Think about it. Sales teams can turn dry spec sheets into compelling video demos for clients. Students can transform dense research papers into explainer videos to prepare for an exam. Content creators could instantly repurpose blog posts into short videos for social media. Startups could even turn a business plan into a dynamic video pitch in minutes. This is a genuinely useful tool for speeding up onboarding, improving team communication, or scaling content without any manual video editing. So, is Notebook LM's video overview the revolution it claims to be? Here are the big takeaways. First, the good. The speed and simplicity are its superpowers. The ability to go from a document to a video with one click is a massive advantage for anyone who needs to work fast. The customization is also surprisingly robust. Now, the bad news, or at least the limitations. It is not quite a professional video editor, yet. The images are generated by the model Gemini 2.5 Flash Image Nano Banana, and there is no option yet to add videos. But for turning internal documents, reports, and study guides into accessible videos, this is a powerful and genuinely disruptive new tool. It's a huge leap forward from just reading text on a screen. For me, I use this tool a lot to summarize and learn topics on the go. I have it in mobile app, available for Android and Apple. It doesn't have all the features, but with the app installed, I can share links and documents when I see it and make my overviews later. But now I want to hear from you. What do you think of these new AI capabilities? Is this speed a game changer for your workflow? Are you thinking about it for work, school, or a personal project? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear your ideas. And if you found this breakdown helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest AI tools. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.